Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. I have four Dollar Tree farmhouse DIYs for you today. I created two different mason jar DIYs and two different clay pot DIYs. I really really think that you guys are going to enjoy these and I really think that these are something that are simple and cheap to create. So I hope that y'all enjoy this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on that notification bell give this video a thumbs up share with friends and family and let's get started so i started with one of the big mason jars that i picked up from walmart and this will be the only thing that i did pick up from walmart but uh, I, I really needed this big one and i'm just going to start with some jute and i'm going to wrap it around mm, six or seven times and then I'm gonna secure it with some hot glue, cut off the extra, and then I'm gonna tie up a medium size bow <laughs> um, with some jute, and then I'm gonna secure that with some hot glue as well. And then I picked up three different colors of the lavender uh, plants from Dollar Tree, and I took my wire cutters, and I cut off some of that stem and I actually cut off all the way up till right before it would break apart um, which would be a little bit more than what I showed here because I needed them to fit down in the mason jar a little bit more than what they did cut at that length so now all I did was push up all the leaves so that they were right below the lavender So then all I did was adjust the lavender just a little bit and make sure that the cotton was where it needed to be and this is how it turned out. It is so cute you guys. I'm in love with it. I really really am. But let's go ahead and move on to DIY number two. Alright so what you're going to need is a two pack of these burner covers and some ivory chalk paint. And I'm just going to give this three coats of the ivory chalk paint and I'll also do that to the smaller one as well and then we'll be back So now using some E6000, I'm going to do little dots all the way around, leaving space for some hot glue to go in between each dot. And once the glue is on, I will place the burner cover down and set the clay pot right down in the middle. And I do recommend measuring and maybe putting a dot in the direct middle of the burn cover because I messed up the first time and I'm not so sure that I got it exactly right the second time either and I could not go back and fix it once the glue had dried because I didn't realize it at first <laughs> anyways so then I'm going to do it to the second clay pot just like I did the first one with the glue and place on my clay pot to my burner and that will be that for this DIY. You guys, I love this DIY. It's so cute. But let's go ahead and move on to DIY number three. You're going to need that same pack of clay pots, some mineral chalk paint, and we're going to just dry brush on the mineral paint. And we're going to do this a little thick. I mean, we want it to cover it pretty well, just like this. This is after I had gotten done with the dry brushing with the mineral 
and now I'm going to lightly dry brush on some ink chalk paint and we're going to do this a lot more light than the mineral and then once we get done dry brushing on the ink chalk paint we're going to move on to our cashew chalk paint and yes all of these are necessary if you want this look that I obtained by doing this I really really think it aged the clay pots and I just love a good dry brushing you guys but this is how it turned out with all three colors dry brushed on notice you can still see the clay pot through the paint don't forget the edge of the top of the clay pot as well so now you're gonna need the number one and two out of these foam letters and using the same ink Waverly chalk paint we're gonna give the one and two two coats of paint and make sure that you get the edges So now that we have some paper towels in there as filler, we're going to grab some reindeer moss and set that right on top of our filler and just spread that out um, all the way across the clay pot to cover up all of the uh, paper towels. And we're going to take two of these pillar candles that you can pick up at Dollar Tree and we're going to place that right in the center of the clay pot. And then I'm going to place more of the reindeer moss around the candles and this is how they both looked and this is how they look on top of our smaller tear tray i think they are so adorable and so is our trays oh my goodness all right guys diy number four so we used some folk art in the color linen and we're going to give our first mason jar, which is a medium size mason jar, we're going to give it three coats of the folk art linen and this is a matte paint you guys and I absolutely love this color and I absolutely love that it's matte. This is the first time I found a matte paint that wasn't chalk so I'm obsessed obviously and now we're going to give our smaller mason jar three coats of the linen paint as well and look how beautiful that paint is you guys I, it's cheaper than the chalk paint believe it or not so now we're going to take some wildflowers from the dollar tree and we're going to take off three of the greenery and three of the flowers and we're going to use three of them in each mason jar but before we do that we're going to wrap our first mason jar three times with some jute and we're going to glue on a little jute bow right in the center of the front of our mason jar. And now we're going to place in our flowers. And I don't know if I've already showed this, but I did place some filler paper towels in both of my mason jars. You can see there. But I'm going to do the same thing with my smaller mason jar and wrap it a few times with some jute and then place on a tiny little bow and for placing our florals in our smaller mason jar we're going to do it a bit different we're going to use a tiny little dot of hot glue and place that in and it'll glue right to that paper towel that we stuck in there and the paper towel is a nice little thing that you can use instead of floral foam um, but yeah so this is how that turned out so adorable so cute and this is how they look on my big tear tray so cute, so simple, so spring. I love the green and white together. And real quick, I wanted to give Amy Fordyce a shout out. Thank you so much for following me on Instagram. And I wanted to quickly show you guys how the clay pot and the mason jar look together on the tear tray. And here are the other set together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with friends and family. And let me know which is your favorite DIY. 
Thanks so much for watching and have a blessed day.